It's no secret that medical devices pose a security risk for any healthcare organisation. Um, we see more and more of them these days. We've spoke about many times the pace of change in healthcare and uh, IoT is no exception. So there are more and more IoT devices appearing in our hospitals and how we manage those is incredibly important. Age in itself poses a problem because encryption standards and security standards, authentication standards, all move on. But for a medical device to be certified is a lengthy process. So we can be constrained by the capabilities of the devices that need to be managed and maintained within a hospital. If we look at a couple of examples here, so we have seen in some of our customers uh, IV pumps. That are, that are able to be wired, connected to the network and then monitored remotely. Only they are not able to support any encryption standards. This isn't necessarily true of all devices today, but this certainly with some older ones. Um, so how do we secure and encrypt the traffic from that, uh, from that infusion pump so that we maintain its uh, integrity, uh, security, privacy, uh, and essentially safety of that device. If we didn't secure those type of devices, the risk essentially is that somebody could die. If you manipulated the readings for, or the instructions to an IV pump that's currently treating a patient, the potential is loss of human life. They must be protected. Uh, so in some cases, if you don't have a solution to adequately secure them, they must be taken out of use. Another example uh, of IoT type devices that we see, but this time on the wireless networks, uh, are wireless patient monitors, uh, so for monitoring you know, patients' vitals. Um, they also need to be adequately secured. And again, it's the same risks. If we cannot trust the integrity of the data coming back from those devices because they were not adequately secured, then again, that could lead to a patient safety risk. How would we address that challenge? So on the wired side, we'd look to something like Extreme's Defender for IoT. Essentially, a system whereby we can deploy a virtual network port, or it's actually a physical network port, right at that device, plug into it, and that then secures all of the communication from that device back to a central location or to wherever we need the data to be delivered. Uh, and that means that we have far greater capabilities in terms of authentication and encryption than the device itself had without affecting the device's uh, certification or compliance. How do we address the same challenge on the wireless networks? Well, if we go back to our example of the wireless patient monitors, we have seen older versions of those which don't support things like 802.1x uh, certificate-based authentication for their, wired, for their wireless connection. Uh, they would only support WPA, installing a passphrase on the device. Well, there's a major problem with that, two major problems with that, in fact, which is, uh, one, the, the WPA passphrase could be shared, and then you have many more devices authenticated to the same network than you really want on it. And another one is, if that happens, how do you respond to it? Well, you then need to visit every single one of those devices and, and put in a new WPA passphrase. So with, with Extreme's private pre-shared key, we're able to deploy individual passphrases for individual devices, but manage that simply and centrally. So if any one of those becomes breached, we can very simply uh, revoke that particular passphrase and reissue a new one, only meaning that we need to manage one of the devices, the one that was affected. So the impact uh, to, to, uh, to a hospital managing multiple devices that don't support anything but WPA passphrase is, is vastly simplified management and security of those devices. For many customers where they're, where they're faced with these challenges, these type of solutions can prevent a, a customer having to go back out to the market and procure hundreds more modern devices that, that, that mitigate that risk. We're able to mitigate the risk for them 
actually saving a huge amount of money in the long run.